The other day I was on the Instagram, I saw this post on Jillian's, uh, Jillian Berry's uh, site and she was taking a poll and I, I'm pretty sure the poll largely disagreed with this person, but if this is how vegans actually think, I want no part of it whatsoever. I have left the tribe. I don't even want to be in the tribe. So the statement was, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best Valley Girl version of this. Just have fun with this. Your husband does not even eat vegan. That is incomprehensible. <laughs> Real vegans could obviously never engage with non-vegans. That is a question of proper values and virtues. Just because you are scared to be alone does not mean that you have to engage with a non-vegan. In my mind, when I read this, I immediately thought, how many boosters is this person taking? I can't, I, I just can't, I can't, I, I can't do it. Like, can you imagine being with the love of your life <laughs> Neither one of you was vegan prior to marriage, or maybe one of you was, and the other one goes vegan, and they're like, well, I'm just not going to date you because you're not vegan, or I'm not going to be married to you because you're, you're not vegan, or whatever it is, like how, like everything else, <laughs> everything else is fine, except for this one thing. Now, I know it's a big deal to some. It, it, it really is. I never got into this for animal rights. I never got into this be because of any of that. I I'm not going to be out on a march <laughs> like for any kind, for any, like, I don't even like going to parades. I was in a parade when I was a kid. I, I, I didn't like it. I don't even go to parades. So like, it's just not gonna happen. But like, how, how is this a thing? Like how, like, I think a good five or 10% agreed with this. I'd look it up, but I'm on my Instagram viewing device right now, filming. Let me know down in the comments, is, do you agree with it? What do you think about this statement? Like it's, I, I'm not much for gossip. I, I don't know if this is gossip, but this is, it's crazy to me, crazy talk to me. Like I, I, do, I like, that's like you have to disown your family too. Cause like my parents are not vegan. So I'd have to disown everybody that I know. And go, you know, and I already kind of just, it's its not a lot of people that I talk to. So it's just like, what? You know, like, and if you do this for ethnic reason or ethical reasons, ethical reasons, cool. Congratulate, like awesome. Like awesome. If you believe that, you know, the planet needs needs that great congratulations i mean i mean do your thing you know like i guess you know like i understand i understand the argument and i i do i understand the argument that animal agriculture really isn't that great it is completely unnecessary it is an assembly line of death i remember i worked with this woman at the post office and her husband worked for a uh meat processing plan for lack of a better word and they used to average killing like 30,000 somehow pigs a, a week or a day I forget she showed me the bone pile it is huge it filled like these huge dumpsters it's crazy and that's not good it's not good at all like you know if you look at the way people used to eat animals it was a lot different back in the day it was it was a lot different they weren't eating it every night they weren't having it every night it wasn't this huge thing at all it was they ate what they could you know get like even if they were in agriculture if they were in like in wherever you know settlements were there was agriculture and if you found an animal great and you used every single part of it it wasn't this huge assembly line of animal death. I, I, you know, I understand that. And I don't agree. I don't agree with the way things are done at all anymore. At all. Animals should not be kept. And, you know, I was in the fish industry. That's even worse, I think, than the way the animals are treated. Uh, and, and, and it's crazy to me because we used to cut the tumors and stuff off these fish and turn them into to patties, like uh, dips and stuff like that. So, yeah, every part of it's used. I'm not for it. But to go to this extent where, you know, you're going to separate from somebody that you've been with for however long because they don't eat the way you do. Now, if you are looking for somebody who is also vegan and you're vegan, that is one thing. I completely understand that. But if you're disowning everybody in your life because they're not vegan, I, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know. I just can't be a part of that. I just, I can't.
be a part of that. There are bigger things on this planet right now than like being at war with your significant other because they're not vegan. Actually, I uh, know somebody up the road that uh, the one's a junk food addict and the other one's like this hardcore, you know, ultra clean vegan. And they, they're like, they're amazing together. It's just, I, I think it's gone too far. I actually really at this point think I'm pretty much just plant-based because I just, a lot of the stuff I'm seeing out of the vegan community now is just stuff that I just, I cannot, I cannot, mm -mm. I cannot do it. It is not my, not my thing. No, uh -uh. it is just getting out of hand. It's like we have too much time on our hands now. Like, we have too much time to think about this stuff, myself included. Like, I haven't done DoorDash in a couple of weeks, not that I miss it. And, like, I'm starting to notice, like, I, like I've got a little too much time on my hands here. I know I'm going to get real busy with something soon. I needed to take a step back because I was working way too much. Like, I was working, like, 12, 14-hour days. It was getting out of hand. Anyway, I think that's all I got to say about this, but... I'll put a screenshot of it at the beginning of this. You'll see that. I'm even noticing in the community, even with people that I talk to, they're starting to, like, it's some of these weird obsessions that I'm starting to see, uh, especially with the food and everything. It's just, it's becoming a little too much with me. Like, you know, I mean, I know not everybody's into this, but if you read the Bible, Jesus said that what goes into your body doesn't, doesn't, defile you or create evil in your body it's what comes like what you're what you say that comes out of you is the issue <laughs> and stuff like this and i'm not saying i am not saying i am any better <laughs> but stuff like this uh yeah anyway a lot of nothing in this video comments questions down below like, subscribe, probably lose some subscribers off this one. If that is what vegan is about, if, if, if vegan is about trying to be an advocate for one animal on this planet while hating another animal on this planet, the human, how does that make sense? How does, how does that make sense to you? Like, I, I don't, I don't get it. Like, I don't understand it at all. I, I don't get it. Anyway, anyway, I'll talk to you in the next one. <laughs>